Aloha everybody, welcome to a little quick little weekly walk about at the collector. Just zip you around quickly and show you some cool stuff I got to sell this week. Nice little pocket knives and cigarette lighters pre-war and some cool old sort of 1970s, 80s footy cards and footy stickers and stuff and some nice little bookmarks. Nice little shell household oil tin over the back. Nice little bits here as well, little Rosella paper clips, a nice little thing. Yeah, some nice bits of furniture and stuff, nice little pair of picture frames, and these are pretty cool. Little side tables with the hot chicks riding the dragon. There you go, damn cool. Nice big planet lamp as well, little singer sewing machine's pretty cute, and the little cabinet's nice as well. A little pedestal actually down the bottom there, and a sort of typical little sort of deco smoker stand with a bit of bake a lot. Nice to see the knob on top. Nice little sort of industrial sort of drawer unit there. They seem to be popular at the moment. And cute little sort of retro table setting with a funny sort of glassy or resiny sort of top. He's cute as well. A little industrial gift wrapping stand there with a little serrated edge up the top. You can cut your paper off. Some cool ladies and gents vintage clothing this week. A couple of big boxes there full of art and Australia magazines from the sort of 60s onwards. Sort of box lots and retro stuff and alarm clocks and stereo amps and a nice little sort of stereo system there with the speakers to match. These are pretty cool, the big sort of uh, washers, the big coppers or whatever you want to call them. And the nice old sort of thruster surfboard, another cool little lamp up the top there, a little red one. They always go faster when they're red. Boxes of records, boxes of sort of blokey stuff. That nice little BOAC ashtray in amongst there is a good little bit. And pottery and china and some sort of sporting stuff. Little record players cute and some little uh, nice little vintage sort of science fiction, science fantasy sort of books. A couple of nice little uh, telephones with a little white sort of ear and mouthpiece on the black one. Looks pretty cool. There you go. Look at that for a leaning tower of tables and stuff. <laughs> Hopefully the plan is that during viewing on Wednesday someone comes in and wants to look at something and ended up sort of, you know, all collapsing on top of them or something like that. We haven't had a work cover claim for ages in here, so we figure we'll get one going ourselves. <laughs> little bongo drums are pretty cool. Oh, this little pot cabinet as well with a sort of little rounded front on him. Nice little pictures and chairs and stuff. I like this picture frame actually. The original glass and the slip in it. Nice little sort of Australian school oil painting there, uh, New Zealand scene, about 1900 give or take, no signature, but nice, nice, nice little thing. It's pretty cute as, as well, a little red sleigh, some more sort of ammunition sort of crate things and a cool little retro fan or heater, and all sorts of gear in the cabinets as well, a little espresso coffee machine, nice little collection of Victoriana at the top there and some sort of retro ceramics and glass. Some interesting old photographs and some nice big collection of glassware. There's lots of sort of funny stuff this week. Some nice Masonic stuff. These are pretty cool. A couple of aircraft gauges out of an old prototype 1980s Australian made uh, two seat turboprop trainer, which was called the Wamira or Wamera. Uh, I think we developed it here, spent a couple of million bucks developing it, and then sort of never actually ended up producing it. But anyway, interesting little bits in there. These are pretty cool, all the old milk bar sort of ice cream signs and stuff. A couple of German World War II, there you go. Eric Hartman, the doll in the box there, plus a couple of loose ones as well. This is fantastic, this little National Travel Vision. Tiny little TV. It's got this little sort of slip-off magnifier. So there's the size of the normal sort of screen. Little magnifier goes on. And you can see it a lot better. Really cool and nice to have that little magnifier on the end. I reckon they'd probably go astray. Some more cool sort of prints and some sort of tacky sort of peacock stone picture. And there you go, good old Chairman Mao and his buddies in his car cruising along. A lot of retro stuff. We've got heaps more cool man magazines from the 1950s and 60s again this week, all in fantastic condition. Nice tools and we've got a lovely big sort of collection of rock specimens and things like that. Some more man magazines. This little Hitler's Digger Slaves book is signed by the author. Box set of Judy Garland DVDs. Got some sort of retro enameled wear and other stuff up the top. And some nice gear in the end cabinets this week, actually. Nice collections of glassware and china. Some pretty plates. 
postcards, an old 1708 debenture or something like that there. Lovely big collection of sunbeams, ginger megs and other comics. This is a pretty funny thing, this decelerometer sort of meter. Some Masonic sashes, milkshake maker, the nut brown, little rolling pins, a cracker or husband beater. This is cool as well, the hat box there from Meyer and Chadston when it first opened. There you go, and some more pretty cool man magazines from 1951. A little collection of glass, little Shats clock over the back's quite nice. A couple of little Australian pottery wall pockets, the one on the right's by Seton Grant. It's one of the coolest big sort of Masonic sash sort of things you'll ever see. It's got heaps of stuff all over it. Little Elsa Arder and Australian pottery jugs, a nice little bit, quite early for her work. It's a TG Green, a little bit of Gunda in the front there as well. And some nice bits at the top shelf. Good old John Barleycorn, the Dalton jug there. This little Australian pottery wall pocket. A little bit of Remue. These are man magazines from 1937 and 1938. And the earliest ones I've seen. Nice little Darylee uh, Sweet House little chocolate candy tin. is a lovely bit with a conical top. It looks kind of pretty cool next to this. Nice little bit of end of day glass. And the big heavy crystal or glass vase. Lovely bit of Art Deco, 1920s, 30s. It's unsigned. Weighs a ton. Beautiful bit of glass. Should be a good auction this week, guys. Hopefully you turn up. Hopefully you come along. We've had lovely weather. It'll be nice again on Thursday night. Little flying swallows are pretty cool. And just quickly before we scoot off, these are pretty cool. The old skateboard trucks. There's a pair of old Veriflex ones in there over the back. Plus an Indy in front. The old Veriflex ones are damn cool. Anyway, hopefully you saw something if you like. Hopefully you saw something you liked. If you didn't, bad bloody luck. <laughs>